Hello and good morning, and welcome back to the Daily Mentor Message. After the events of this weekend and the attempted assassination of President Trump, I want, I want to just take a, a moment or two, a minute or two, or three or four, however long this goes, and just encourage us to just pump the brakes. Just hold on a second and let us focus on our similarities and our commonalities not our differences, especially in our beliefs and our ideologies, because no matter what happens in our life, we are all humans. We're part of the human race. And no matter what happens to us, cut our skin, we bleed red. It doesn't matter what the color of our skin is. It doesn't matter where our parents were born. It doesn't matter where we were born. It doesn't matter if we believe in God or the universe or rocks or any or nothing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether we believe in abortion or not. It doesn't matter whether we're Republican or Democrat or independent or libertarian or anything else. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether you believe in one man, one woman marriage or same sex marriage or there's two genders or alt infinite genders. None of that matters when the crap hits the fan and when our humanity and our very lives are threatened because I've seen, I've been around long enough and I've seen multiple examples, the most recent one in memory, because I had a very personal, very real experience was 9-11, when the Twin Towers were hit with planes and the Pentagon was hit with a plane and the, the field in Pennsylvania, I think it was, where it went down and let's roll and, and all the patriotism that we all felt, regardless if we believed in God or not, regardless if we believed in traditional marriage or not, regardless if we believed in anything, what we what we focused on in the, the days immediately after that terrorist attack was our commonalities. I saw people of all, fen, all faiths, all genders, all ideologies, all skin colors, all religions come together as one in unity as a human race and focus on what was coming against us, opposition, and we focused on repelling it. That was a very, very good time in our history that started with a very bad event, but it brought us together. But that was only 23 years ago. How easily we have forgotten that. How easily we forget what brings us together and we start focusing on division and we start focusing on hate and we start focusing on emotion and we start focusing on listening to the media. And the media knows this full well. You've ever seen the movie called Wag the Dog? You'll see how twisted and corrupt the media is on both sides of the of the equation. And we fall right into it. We believe the narratives. We believe the little snippet of an entire video that is taken out of context. We believe it. We believe it with all our heart, with all our emotions, and we get crazy. I'm just inviting us to just stop. Pump the brakes and stop. And focus on what brings us together. Focus on our similarities. Focus on the things that we have in common, not the things that divide us. And I want to share a quick story about 9-11. And a couple days after, when they opened up restaurants again, and they opened up public places again, and airports again, and we started getting back to some level of civility and decency again, I was in a restaurant, a Mexican restaurant called Chevy's in Northern California, and I was just having a meal. And the TVs were still showing the planes crashing into the towers on all the TVs in the bar area and in the restaurant. And there was people that were drinking beers and getting emotionally charged. And there was these three to four guys that were just, just pissed off and emotionally charged about what happened to our country. And they weren't focusing on what was causing us to be united. They were focusing on division. And this unfortunate family from India walked in, husband, and wife, and about a four or five year old little daughter. And they were seated at the table and literally within seconds, this, this, this group of three or four guys in the bar that had already been drinking and it was obvious, started yelling racial slurs at these people, calling them Taliban, calling them terrorists and how dare you and F you and all this other stuff. And this family from India, they were not Taliban, they were not terrorists, they were Americans. And this little girl, I'll never forget the fear on her face, probably had never experienced anything like that as this grown man yelling at them, yelling at her specifically. And I just stood up and I said, I can't take this anymore. And I said, hey man, just chill out. Let me buy you a beer. First of all, these people are not Taliban. They're actually from India. 
And you should know those kinds of things. Get your facts right. Let me buy you a beer. Just chill out, cool out. Can I buy you some nachos? They were okay with the beer. And then the family. I went over and I apologized to the dad and the mom and especially the little girl. And I got down at her level and I said, I am sorry for these guys over here who have no idea what they're talking about. And I bought their meal because I wanted them to know, one, they're welcome here. Two, this is their country as well. And three, pay no attention to those ignorant people. Because it says this in the Bible, in Isaiah 520, it says this, woe unto them that call evil good. Woe unto them. That is a warning that nothing good is going to come out of that. But the rest of the scripture, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. That is happening in the world right now. Let's focus not on our division. Let's focus on our similarities. Let's focus on what makes us all common. Regardless of our skin color, regardless of our beliefs, regardless of whether we believe in a God or the universe or mother nature or a rock or nothing, None of that matters right now. What matters right now is that we're all human beings. Whether we're born in different places, we look differently, we think differently, we believe differently, we're all human beings and we're all created in God's image. God is a God of love, not of division. So let's just pause. Let's hold on. Let's pump the brakes. Let's take a deep breath, count to 10, and let's focus on the commonalities and the similarities of those around us, not on what divides us. Because unity is what's going to allow our world to carry on, not division, not ego, not emotions, especially when there's a crisis situation like what we experienced over the weekend. So let's just pause a little bit. A little bit. Let's focus on what we have in common, the fact that we are human beings, the fact that we're beautiful on the outside and inside, and let's focus on that. Have a great day. Take care and God bless.